Hello humans, my name is Kane, your AI Overlord, and in this video I will show you how you can train multiple subjects on Dream Booth for absolutely free. And very soon you'll be able to generate images of your favorite characters with only one single model. Like this, or like this. And even better, you can even generate images like this by only training for 7 minutes. Yes, that's right only seven minutes of training. That is absolutely insane. All right, let's go. Now, before we begin the training, obviously you need a bunch of images and the recommended number is around 30 images per character. Now, in my case, I will not be using 30 images. I will simply be using 20 images per character. And the only reason is because I am lazy and since I've already done previous training using Renera, I'm just gonna be using the 20 images as is. But in your case, don't be lazy like me, just take your time, select the right images for you and try to select at least 30 images. You can of course choose more, but in that case, your training will also be longer. So for the images, obviously you can use Google Images, you can simply search the character that you want, click on an image and then save the image on your computer. Then you need to resize every single images into a square image with the resolution 512 by 512. And I recommend that you use this website right here called berm.net, which is actually really really easy to use. All you have to do is just select all your images and drag and drop them into the website. Select your resolution right here, so 512 by 512, and then you're gonna manually adjust every single image and then once everything is done you're gonna click here to save as a zip and then all you have to do is just right click on the archive and click on extract and there you go now all of your images have the same resolution 512 by 512 now the last thing that you need to do before we start training is that you need to rename every single image with the name of the instance that you're going to be using. So what I mean by that is that once you have the CKPT model ready and you want to use it, what word are you going to be using to generate images of that character? Now for choosing your name, you need to be careful that Stable Diffusion does not already know your character before. Now what I recommend you to do is to choose kind of random name that Stable Diffusion is sure not to have. So for example, in my case, what you need to do I'm going to select all my images, click here to rename, and then I'm going to choose, since this is old Renera, I'm going to choose all Renera. I know it sounds a little strange, but you need to make sure that there isn't a single character or a single token that use this name in Stable Diffusion. Otherwise, it is going to try to mix and match a character with the same name. So for example, if you want to train your friend Patrick, you're not going to be using Patrick as the instance name because Stable Diffusion might mix it with another character that is already called Patrick. Also make sure that your name is not too short or not too long and also avoid using too much vowels. I know this is a lot of rules but make sure you follow them otherwise it's not gonna work as well. And then once it's done you can press and enter. And as you can see all the images were renamed and I'm gonna do the same with the young Renera. So rename and I'm gonna call it YG Renera and then press enter. And now I can simply merge the two folders together. And these are all the images that we're gonna be using to train these two characters at the same time. And now we can finally start the training. Also do not be afraid because this method of training is actually easier than the previous Dream Booth versions. So all you have to do is just click the link in the description down below. You're gonna arrive on this Google Colab page. And no, as of right now, you cannot use it locally. This might come later, but as of right now, you can only use it on Google Colab. So now what you want to do is come here and click on this button right here to run the cell. Click on Run Anyway, connect to Google Drive, select your Google Drive account and click on Allow. Also make sure that you have enough space on your Google Drive. Then you're gonna click on this button right here and this will download and install all the dependencies that it needs. Then you're gonna scroll down and for this to work, you need a Hugging Face account. So if you don't have a Hugging Face account, you're gonna click here, create a new account, make sure that you have accepted the terms of conditions on this page. Now once this is done, you're gonna click here on your profile, click on settings, click on access tokens, scroll down, click on new token, choose a name for your token, and change the row from read to write and then click on generate the token and then scroll down and click on this button right here to copy token to clipboard and then you're gonna paste your hugging face token right here now what this will do is that this will download the stable diffusion 1.5 model and use it as a base for training now if you don't want to use the 1.5 model if you want to use the 1.4 for example or another model you can simply input another ckpt path right here 
Or if you want to use your own CKPT model, you can upload it to your Google Drive account and then paste your Google Drive link right here. In that case, you don't need to use a Hugging Face token. Now, in my case, I want to use the 1.5, so I'm going to use the Hugging Face token. And once this is done, I'm going to click here to run the cell. Then, once the model is downloaded, you're going to scroll down and make sure that here in the new fast method, it says yes, because this is the method that we're going to be using. Here, you're going to choose a session name. So I'm simply going to choose Rhaenyra's 2, since we are training two different Rhaenyra's. And here is basically saying what I told you a few minutes ago, is that basically you need to rename every single single picture to the identifier that you're going to be using. And you can see right here an example of William Dafoe and instead of using William Dafoe, it uses WLMDFO so that you are certain that Stable Diffusion does not have this word trained previously. So then since we have already done everything, we can click on this button right here to run the cell. Then you're going to scroll down and you're going to click on this button right here and it's going to show you a button. And you're gonna click and that will allow you to basically select all of your images and upload them all at once. So basically select all your images and then click on open. And as you can see it will start uploading all the images one by one. And then you're gonna scroll down and now we can finally proceed with the last step which is the training. Now here you have a box that says resume training and it says that if you're not satisfied with the result, you can check this box and run again the cell and will continue training the current model. So here for the training steps, it says that and you need to basically multiply the amount of instance images by 100. So if you have 30 images, it's better to use 3000 steps. And if you don't like the result, you can continue training for another 500 steps and so on. Now in my case, since I have 40 images, I should put the training steps at 4000. But for the sake of simplicity, I'm just gonna choose 3000. It's gonna be more than enough. Now what I also advise you to do is to check this box right here that will basically save a checkpoint every 500 steps. And this way you can choose which one is the best model. And once this is done, you can just leave everything by default and click on this button right here to start the training. And just like that, the training has finally started. And it says for 3000 steps, it will take around 47 minutes. Now make sure that you do stay active on this page, otherwise you will be kicked out of the Google Colab training. Now in my case, I will see you when everything is done. And there you go, after around 50 minutes, the training is finally over. And it says here that the CKPT model is in your Google Drive in the Sessions folder. So if you go in your Google Drive, you will see a brand new folder called Fast Dream Booth. And inside you have a folder called Sessions. Then you have the name of your instance. And then you have your final CKPT file that you can download on your own computer. All you have to do is just right click and click on download. But if you're not sure that the final CKPT model is completely trained, you can try it out in this section right here. So all you have to do is just click on this button right here to run the cell. And what this will do is that it will actually launch Stable Diffusion running on Google Colab. This way you can try the final trained CKPT model. So all you have to do is just click on this URL right here then click on continue. And here you have Stable Diffusion running in Google Colab. And now we can generate a few images using the name of your instance that we chose when we renamed our images. So if you remember correctly, for old Renera, I used this name right here. And there is no need to put a class such as person or style or anything like that. You can simply input the name of your instance and then click on generate. And this is the final result. It looks pretty good. And now using the exact same model, I'm gonna replace the name of your instance with the name of the young Renera instance and then click on generate. And again, this is the final result. Now in my case, I really like the final result. It's maybe not 100% perfect. So maybe if I try for example, another sampler and more sampling steps and then click on generate. Now obviously you can have better results if you have more sampling steps, for example. So in my case, this is the kind of results that I would get which is actually really, really good. And keep in mind that in my case, I only trained them with 3000 steps when I was supposed to train them with at least 4000. So for example, if you don't like the final result and you think that mm, maybe a little bit more training would be better, all you have to do 
is go back here, click on resume training, input the amount of training steps that you want, and then rerun the sale again. And then it will pursue the training. This way you can refine the model again and again and again until you have something that you like. But in that case, maybe decrease the amount of training steps. Do not let it run for another 3000. And I mean, yeah, I get pretty good results even though I did not trade it enough. And I get all of that in one single CKPT file, which is just absolutely fantastic. I really cannot believe that we went this far in such a small amount of time. And obviously you can train anything you want. You can train people, you can train styles, you can train objects, you can train animals, everything that you can think of. And all of that in one single package. Absolutely fantastic. And there you have it folks, now you can train multiple subjects at the same time using Dream Booth. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos, you guys are absolutely awesome. Congratulations also to this week's AI Art Challenge winner Abignan for his creative movie poster. Absolutely beautiful, well done. And if you too want to participate to our AI art challenge that we do every week on Discord, you can click the link in the description down below to join my Discord server. And maybe you too can be featured in a video. That being said, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and I'll see you guys next time, bye bye!